I flew my half a top banana yesterday also after fixing the wing, which I broke in Muncie. It appeared to have too much left under power, so I took out a lot of the left thrust. Well, I go to plug in my RDT and locator, and it wasn't working at all. Appears a wire broke off. So I did a makeshift splice here, wrapping the wire and then using some CA. I really wanted to fly the plane again. So I let the engine run rich and did a real short flight, and it made a nice right turn. So now I was confident I thought I could uh, lean it out some and try it again. So I had a small amount of right rudder trim, but with more power, that was too much. So I popped the DT because I was afraid it was going to hit my car and it broke the wing. But I fixed the wing at the field and straightened out the rudder trim and launched it a little bit to the left. So it stalled on transition, but then it smoothed out pretty well in the glide and the glide looks pretty good. This is the J&H uh, aerospace kit and it uh, was a real nice kit. Great laser cutting and seemed like it came out light. I covered the wing with uh, the included doculum and then I used uh, Isaki tissue over that. And it seemed pretty rigid, but there's only one spar on the wing, so it breaks fairly easy. The, the plane has a, a long tail moment, and I think it's real stable. And the nose is fairly long, so it balances well without having to add weight. Well, I launched it again too much to the left, but it straightened out okay on top. I know I should be launching this darn near vertical, but I'm still kind of nervous when I launch it. It just seems like such a small plane with only 36 inch span for uh, this much power after flying these bigger half A planes like the Viking and the Starduster. I really like working with the Cox Medallion. It just always starts and runs good and it'll really scream if I lean it out. Well, I made a few flights and I got a plane to take home in one piece. 